Hello, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on this part series, this part 64 of Understanding Black Music History. Now I'm going to get to June 3rd. Now on June 3rd, the number one R&B song in 1957 was Young Blood by the Color Coasters. The Coasters Young Blood on June 3rd, 1957. 57 was the number one song at that time in 1957, Young Blood by the Coasters. On June 3rd, 1957, the Ozzy Brothers' first single, the doo-wop style, The Angels Cried, on Teenage Records was released. It would be two years before they would have their first hit, Shout. On June 3rd, 1967, Aretha Franklin's Respect topped the pop charts for two weeks. In the R&B list for eight, giving Aretha Franklin her second million seller. The song was originally a hit for Otis Redding in 1965, who made the song two years earlier, before Aretha Franklin did. Uh, the original hit was at number four for Otis Redding. On June 3rd, 1967, the fifth dimension the charted with Up, Up, and Away, which became their first million seller, reaching number seven. The light, lifting pop feel of the record was such that it never got near the R&B charts. In fact, the all-black group charted almost twice as much pop, 30 times as R&B, 17 times, during their 10-year hitless career. June 3rd, 1967, the Jimi Hendrix Experience reached the British Top 10 for the third time in a row when the wind cries married. Peaked at number six. The unusual aspect of an American artist having their hits in England while going unrecorded in the US was not lost on Reprise Records, which would finally sign Jimi Hendrix. On June 3rd, 1967, the staple singers charted with Why Am I Treated So Bad? Reaching number 95 in pop. It was the first top 100 single for the family of gospel turn on the vocalist who would have 18 charters through 1992. On June 3rd, 1972, the staple singers had their first of two number one pop hits and three number one on the smashes when I'll Take You There reached the top spot. 19 years later, the lead singer Marvin Staple, Mavis Staples would have a hit with it. This time, as lead with B.B. and C.C. Winans reaching number one. R&B once again. And finally, on June 3rd, Michael Jackson in 1990. Michael Jackson on June 3rd, 1990. Michael Jackson experienced chest pains, later diagnosed as a rib cage disorder, was admitted to St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica, California. So that concludes a look at the events that took place on June the 3rd on behalf of Black, Mis Black Music History Month. This is part 64. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I do one on Monday. So um, enjoy this. I'm doing this. And uh, subscribe, support, comment. This is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel. On behalf of my part series, part 64 of Honest Day Black Music History. Until then, talk to you on Monday.